So here we are, January 1st of 2021, and I have made a few resolutions for this year. Like most of you, I have goals that I want to achieve both personally and professionally, but there's one goal in particular that's really unlike any of my other resolutions or goals for this year, so to speak, and certainly very different from years past. And that's that I don't really want to spend any money on gear this year. Now, as a guitar player and as a musician, that's something that may sound pretty shocking to some of you, and maybe if you're a guitar player especially, it's very often that we want to buy new gear, and not very often that we don't want to buy new gear. So I'm gonna explain why I don't think I have a real reason to buy any new gear in 2021. So as I look back on this past year and making plans for 2021, first off, I've been very fortunate to be able to do a lot of what I do from home. I've been able to play more sessions. I've been able to work on and write more music for a wider variety of things than I have in years past. And so because of that, I'm very thankful for some of the opportunities that 2020 brought. And it also made me realize that there's nothing that I really need to make more music. Now, I have a great home studio setup that works really well for what I need. I'm not doing any kind of real mixing or engineering projects. I'm certainly not bringing in other artists or anything like that to record. So for right now, the small 11 by 10 or so foot room that I operate out of works just fine for all of the guitar and music production that I personally need to do. So my space is fine and my gear is more than adequate. I don't really feel like I need to buy a new amp or that I really need any new pedals or that I really need any new guitars. Now I'll also offer the disclaimer that I've been very fortunate that I feel like I have very good gear for what I need to be able to do. So because of that, I've just decided that I don't wanna buy anything else that's more significant. And part of the reasoning behind that is because I think that knowing your gear is more important than just getting new gear. So I think that when you spend a ton of time with certain gear, whether that's a guitar or an amp or a modeler or software, or anything like that, the more you learn it, the better you become at not only making music, but translating the ideas in your head to something that people can actually hear. And I think that's more important than just buying whatever the newest version of whatever is that has all the newest bells and whistles. While there's nothing wrong with that, often I find myself in paralysis because I can't decide which of the three dozen reverb plugins that I own to use on a certain track. Instead of just committing to one, going, that sounds great, and moving on. Because for most listeners, they're not going to be able to tell the difference. Now, I do believe that it's our job as those that create music to make the best music that we can, but very rarely do I think those limitations exist in whatever software or gear we may be using, and more often those limitations are on us and our imagination and our own creativity. So, because of that, I don't really think I need to buy anything else. I'd rather spend the time learning all the gear that I currently have to the nth degree, and then if I get to the end of this 12 months and I realize that there is something in my software or guitars or pedals or something like that holding me back, I can reevaluate and then maybe spend my money better in 12 months. So part of my commitment to not spending money on gear really came from the fact that I spend a lot of time thinking about gear, researching gear, looking at what would help me professionally make better music and things like that, instead of actually making music. Now this is just part of a personal thing. This is what makes me, I think, very effective as a session player and a session musician, and is much harder when I'm trying to write stuff on my own. I'm great at finishing out ideas or taking an idea and just really going in whatever direction I see it chasing, but I'm also the king of a half-finished idea. I have countless voice notes and demos and tracks and things like that that may have a certain part or a hook or something that I really like and then I just never finish it. And part of that comes from me also spending so much time worried about what would be the best possible version of it instead of actually just making something instead of just finishing something. 
I spend so much time worried about what software I'm using, what plugins I'm using, what guitar I'm using, what amp simulation I'm running, or amp I'm using, or mics I'm using, etc., etc., that I often don't spend enough time working on the music itself. And I think this isn't unique to me. I think this is something that a lot of musicians run into. So because of that, I've realized that I have great gear that I know pretty well, but I really want to do a deep dive on and just focus more on making music. At the end of this 12 months, when we start rolling into 2022, when I see what limitations maybe that the gear I have has had on my music, then I know that I can go forward in making a more educated purchase on whatever it may be that is actually holding me back. But since I think that I have all that I really need to create music, I hope that at the end of this 12 months, I'll realize that I just needed to spend more time making music all along. So that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. I'm not gonna buy any new gear until 2022, or at least I'm gonna try. Outside of things like strings and cables and tubes to keep what I have running, I don't really see the need for anything else and I would just rather spend the time and creative energy on new music. So let me know if this is something that you're gonna try as well. And if not, just give me a good reason down in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one.